right now what it is going to be in future and especially for engineering students what can we do to, to make it better how can we really progress into this field so let's see again these are the magical ways so what I do is I try to relate the history with the equipments or the technological advancements that have come on the recent past so these are magical x-rays indeed they are magical because they started they were the cornerstone of everything that we have in imaging, radio therapy or maybe any discipline as we saw in the previous lecture uh, sir said that there was there is a cathode which, which emits electrons which goes to anode and we get x-rays so I hope you all clear with that basics of exercise. What if I increase the LA? What if I increase the tube current? What will happen? Anyone? Basics. What if I increase the tube current? Anyone? My guess, my guess, it just has to be my guess. Guess what will happen? to be 
harmful to a particular, particular tissue that, that is causing the cancer. So what was the property of the X-rays or what property of gamma rays? There were three basic properties I need from the radiation player to be a very good particle shooter. One, it should have a very strong activity. Second, with radioactive material, it should have a long way half life so that it could survive. Third, it could travel good within the air because I have a good distance of about, say, the entire diameter of the patient is about 80 centimeters. So, if I have to shoot, so this is my object, if I have to shoot in circular angles, this angle would be 80 centimeters. So, on any given distance, that is your center from the point would be 40 centimeters. So I need gamma rays which could penetrate and could travel for a, for a particular region of 40 centimeters. So there were 3000 radio nuclei then. So three qualified. Three qualified in the stringent criteria of qualifying people. The first was for what? The second was cesium and the third was radium. Now came the fourth criteria. Availability. Because if I'm going to use it, I need, I need it in hand. So cobalt 60 qualified in because compared to barium and cesium, this was one which was abundantly available compared to the rest. And then came cobalt 60 machines, which we used for radiotherapy. From X-rays, we came to gamma rays with the advent of radioisotopes, parallel hand in hand. So cobalt 60 was used for a for a good three, four decades, but again not the same. I may not, I knew a 2D dimensional view, but if I shoot this way, I know the 2D view with the cobalt, but I don't know 3D view. If I see, if I suppose, if I see this from a 2D view, all you can see is fist. The, the, the planes are the fist, but you don't know what is this. You don't know the 3D view. So cobalt 60 had a shortcoming of one precision with respect to the 3D angles. So you never knew, I mean like, when we plan, and a radiotherapist plan, there is something called as cross total volume, which is assuming that this is the cancer, and this is who can who can take cancer, I mean who can spread cancer. So this entire volume becomes the cross tumor volume. This becomes the planned tumor volume, which I need to destroy in any case. So in Copan 60, the others in the periphery are getting destroyed. Your normal cells are getting destroyed along with your tumor cells. Then after uh, cobalt 60 which ran for a decade, people thought let's use an electron beam. We would have more energy than gamma rays. Definitely more energy than gamma rays. Also the electron beam would have precision. Because gamma rays would be abruptly emitted. But electron beam could be given a direction. Electron beam as such, if if directed directly from the source, would definitely not have that much of intensity or the kinetic energy if I would the electron would not have that if it was given directly from the source. So what do we do to accelerate it? What do we do? Solution. Engineers. I'm not an engineer. Trust me. Simple. How do we energize anything? Sorry. Thank you. 
the surface. So you have to make more energy, make more than that. Why do we need more energy? If it is for lung, which is nearly around, then we require a little more. Prostate will be more. So the, the people out there, they divided this electron beam accelerated to a cyclic electric field into three things. Low energy, medium energy, high energy. This is the stop of technology advancement in teleology. Whatever is spoke right now about electronic accelerating, low energy, medium energy, high energy. <coughs> a correct pixel poor boxer view would have the entire 3D volume of what you are targeting. And my friends, that is the stop of the technology now. The maximum you have is this, which is clearly accepted. There are many others. Like I still use a neutron for it. There, there are like, people like the US and Germany, they use neutrons, they use neutrons, they use protons, but clearly not accepted. So the stop of the technology to take the maximum is an electron accelerating through an cyclic electric field to a particular target on. As simple as that. So there's something more which you need to find out. You will know exactly what it is. Still the research as in that is on cobalt. Radium, I really don't think so. We'll be able to afford it. Uh, cesium is one front where there's a lot of scandal in this one, which is which is you know, which is expected out of me. So that was a complete picture of how radiology, teleradiology as a process will continue the slides to understand how it evolved. What are the different procedures that are being done in the hospital and real life? That will kill the cell. Now, again, if you see the graph, I don't think it's a real physical thing. If you see the graph, the tumor cells and the normal cells, these are two. The one with the red line is the tumor cell, the one with the uh, blue line is the normal cell. But as you radiate, you will also radiate some. As you radiate, you will also radiate uh, the peripheries of the tumor cell. So you need give them a time to get to the normal level before you shoot again. Yeah, because once you shoot a tumor cell, the tumor cell by its nature will stop by its nature will stop uh, proliferating. So you can have that time to for the natural cells or the or the general normal cells to, to give them a chance to grow and then shoot again. So that's that's how uh, the concept of fractionation of the dose given to the child. Uh, certain research and uh, 
who are going on, but yeah, very few Muslims in India are really doing that. Next slide. Yeah, as I say, as the term suggests, we are using uh, from a distance external radiation source which can be anything. Now, here is where the definition of high energy, uh, high energy X-ray sun individual, the gamma is sun individual, and uh, the, uh, the electron beam comes from the picture. Bracket therapy again we use it from a getting close by and then bombarding yourself. So, see, now this is the problem. This is the problem of using that. We do not have centers or we do not have uh, cyclotrons producing such a approach. There are very few in India. One being in Bombay, one being in Delhi, one being in Kuala, starting in Bhagavad and the half life is average about four to five years, four, four to five hours. So any day you pick up from a flight, you almost lose that thing. And it's, so a lot of research is going on in Tata Institute because it's Bombay again, close to the source. Cobalt 60, uh, really didn't give promising results, so not even the source. Next slide. So now, uh, ready to be processed as such. We, we go back to our, uh, we go back to our assumption of I have pain. Yeah. I have been stating is when I come to know after CT scans and RIs that this was at this particular stage, I need to do something. So clinical examination, staging, medicine report, this is one. Now one, uh, one recent advancement on staging is what are the basic difference of CT scan and RI? Basic difference. They look same. They look same. One takes longer than one, one takes shorter than one. What's up? What's up? See, I'm a layman, okay. Actually, I'm a layman language. One good point. The CD is done with X-ray, the MRI is done with your ionization properties, resonance, electrons. She's talking exactly like 